Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create some basic binoculars or essentially a zoom system for your camera inside of your games. So to hit play, I'll show you what we're going to make today. So we're inside the game here, and if I have to hold B or Z or whatever button you want, you'll see we can now zoom in, and we've also got some basic binocular effects on screen as well. You obviously don't need to have this image overlay if you don't want it, I just put it on there just to give it a nice little effect as well. But you can see we are actually zooming in the camera and we can choose how far to zoom in or not. So we can zoom in further or zoom in less if we wanted to as well. But this is how I've got it set up at the moment. So this is what we're going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create our action mapping to be able to use this. So if you're using Unreal Engine 5.0 or earlier, you're going to want to go to Edit, Project Settings, go down to input once it has loaded and create your action mapping in here. However, if you're using 5.1 or later, what we're gonna to need to do is go to where we have our inputs already. So for me, that is third person input actions. Then we're gonna right click, go to input, create an action mapping and call this IA zoom or binoculars, whatever it is that you want to call it. Let me actually delete this old one that I already have. There we go and I'll rename this one like so. Once you've got that, we're gonna open it up straight away. In here, I'm not gonna change anything as this is all fine by default. So I'll save and close that. Then we're gonna go back to our content browser, back to input and open up our IMC default or our input mapping context. In here, I'm gonna add in a mapping, setting it to be our IA zoom we just created. And I'm gonna set this to the action mapping of Z and I'll also add another one of B. So I can use either one, I can use Z or B. Z for zoom, B for binoculars. Again, whichever makes the most sense for you, or whatever it is that you want to do. This could even be on holding right mouse button, anything along those lines. Once you've got it set up, we're gonna close it like so. Then we want to open up our character blueprint. So we're gonna go back to the content browser, third person blueprints, BP third person character. Now this is all gonna be very, very simple. What we're gonna do is right click in some empty space and get the action mapping we just created. So I named mine Zoom. I'm gonna get that like so. Then I want to do this off of hold. So what I'm gonna do is out of started, it's going to zoom in, and completed is gonna zoom out. If you wanna do it on a toggle, come out of started and get a flip flop with A being zoom in, B being zoom out. And to actually do the zoom, all we're gonna do is get a reference to our camera and drag out of this, and we're going to set field of view like so. Again, connecting this into started, and completed respectively like this. Now, unless you've changed it, the default field of view for the camera is going to be 90. So on completed, when we zoom out, we want to reset it to 90. And now the lower the field of view, the more zoomed in it is, the higher the field of view, the more zoomed out it is. So obviously we're zooming in, so I want to set this to a lower value. So I'm gonna set it to 20, like so. And if we compile, save that, minimize it, we should see that this is now gonna work. If we hold down Z, we see we're now zoomed in, we let go, we're zoomed out again, and this will work with B for me as well. And again, you'll notice this is now what it looks like. And if we were to change this value, you'll notice it be it's different as well. So if we set it to 60 instead of 20, it's gonna zoom in not as far like so. And if we set it to even lower, so let's say we set it to two, for example, you'll notice this is then gonna be really zoomed in like this. So again, you'll notice now we can see all the individual details on the textures just because we're really zoomed in. But this again, is just showing you what you can do with this and how it all works. So again, two is definitely too much for me. I'm gonna put it at, let's say 15. We'll compile and save that. And that might be all you want to do. But again, if you want to do what I did in the beginning and add in that little widget on screen so it looks like you're looking through binoculars or a telescope or a sniper rifle or anything along those lines, we can do that very easily. So we're gonna minimize this, go to our content browser, right click, add a user interface, and add a widget blueprint, getting a user widget, and naming this whatever you want. So I'll name it Zoom Widget, like so. Opening it up straight away. In here, we're gonna add in a panel, adding a canvas panel, and then on this, we're going to add in an image, setting the size of this on the X to be 1920, and the Y to be 1080, so it takes up the full screen. And we'll obviously set the anchor to do that as well. Then all we need to do in here is add in the image that we want. So notice I've already imported mine in. Mine looks something like this. 
and you want to just do the same thing for you, however you want it to look. So again, whether it's binoculars, telescope, sniper rifle, whatever it is, just create an image which is going to look good for you, making sure where the player is going to be looking through is obviously left transparent like this. So we're going to save that, go back to our widget, and just set that in here like so. So I've now got my binoculars POV image on here, we'll compile and save that, and that is literally all we need to do in here. It's just something for the player to look through, just to give them that effect that they're actually looking through binoculars. So we'll close this, go back to our character blueprint, and we're going to go off of event begin play now. Off of event begin play, what we're going to do is create widget, with the widget being the one we just created, so I named mine zoom widget, and the return value of this, we're going to right click, promote to variable, naming this zoom widget reference, or whatever it is that makes the most sense for you. Now that we've created it, all we need to do is add it on screen and remove it from screen at the appropriate times. So we're going to go back to our action mapping we created here, get a reference to our zoom widget we just created, and then we're going to drag out of this and add to viewport, off of started, so when we are zooming in, and then we're going to drag out of it again and get remove from parent, off of completed or where we are zooming out. So it's going to add it on screen and take it off screen when we're zoomed in and zoom back out again. So we'll compile, save, minimize this and hit play to test it out once again. So notice if we hold down our button to zoom in, we're now going to zoom in with the widget on screen as well so we can actually see or give the effect that we're looking through some binoculars. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set up this zooming system in which would allow us to zoom in and zoom back out and we can also add in an effect on screen as well to make it look like we're looking through binoculars like this as well. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe for more. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.